Sakakura pretty much doomed everybody. Yeah. Well, can't say I'm surprised. I mean, seriously, did anyone else not predict that maybe Sakura, Mr. Angry Ultimate Boxer, was possibly responsible for, or at least partially responsible for the end of the world? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Anyway, so, Danganronpa 3, uh, the end of Hope Speak Academy, Side Despair. Uh, the episode opened up with, uh, uh, I think, uh, Conan-kun basically narrating, or, I'm sorry, I mean, Hajime. God, they sound too much, I know, they have the same vo- I know that both Kina, Hajime and Conan have the same actress and everything, it's just that, so it's just like, when Hajime is doing investigations, I just keep on thinking about Conan, even though I really want that stupid anime to just stand already, but whatever. Anyway, Hajime is doing a little bit of we open up with Hajime doing a little bit of research into Hope Street Academy, and then, and then we de and then we move into, uh, of course, the Twilight Syndrome uh, BGM playing as soon as Natsumi enters the room. Real subtle, real subtle there, guys. But yeah. Anyway, we finally get, we finally, finally get confirmation that everyone's been arguing about. Natsumi is not an actual ultimate. She just really, really wanted to become one. She pretty much either she or her brother made up the ultimate little sister line, ultimate little sister title, and was trying, I guess, trying to apply for it, when really she, when really I think even Hoshi Kami called call BS on a title like ultimate little sister, so go on you Hoshi Kami for actually recognizing that kind of BS. All of your other BS is inexcusable, but whatever. Anyway, so we actually do get to really see Natsumi's personality in this one episode, and yeah, she's pretty much a bitch. As uh, she's she's constantly having fights with with uh, Sato, who we finally get to see and see her face for the first time in the series. And yeah, she's kind of a normal-looking girl, though she has really frizzy hair. She probably should go. I would I would say she go should, she should go go get a straightening like I sometimes used to do. Um, the reason I wear this bandana is because my hair is really messy in the morning, but I digress. Anyway, uh, so Sato, she ends up, of course, having her little fights with Sato. Mahiro tries to break them up, and yeah, it starts to really escalate, and, well, if you play Danganronpa 2, you know where everything leads yet again. And, let's see, uh, anything else? Oh yeah, she did, she, Sato... We really get to see that Sato seemed to really do it because she really, really cared about Mahir. I mean, like, maybe he possibly was one step below becoming a, I don't know, a, a Yandere, a, a, yan, a Yandere Yuri uh, devil thing. I'm not sure why that, why an image like that appears into my head, but whatever. Anyway, uh, after that, uh, uh, in between all of this, we also get some good good character moments with, uh, between, uh, uh, Fuyuhiko, Fuyuhiko and Peko and Hajime and Chiaki. I, I really do like, I really am liking Side Despair a lot more than Side Future at this, the, the Side Despair more than the Side Future at this point because, uh, we really get to see, we really get to see a lot more of the, uh, uh, some really legitimate good character interactions as opposed to everyone just being told, told asses to, uh, to one another. Uh, the moments between Fuyuhiko and Peko are nice. The moments between uh, Chi uh, Chiaki telling Kashime he doesn't have, again, reaffirming that he doesn't have to worry about not having talent and he can just enjoy life normally are really good moments. I like them. Hell, there was actually a moment uh, between Natsumi and Hajime. I don't, I don't ship them. I ship, I'm a total Hajime Chiaki shipper. But the moment between them was uh, was also really nice because we got we got to see that. Uh, uh, not to me personally, wasn't a terrible per wasn't a terrible person. She was a bitch, yes, but she wanted to become an ultimate because, she, well, she felt a little. She wanted to actually stand by her brother's side, who, and the person standing by her brother's side was somebody who is a legitimate ultimate, and she, she was. She, she may have been jealous. It's hard to say at this point. Uh, well, probably never know since she's dead now, of course, and Sato is. Sato being the Yandere, Yuri, Yuri devil that she is, killed her, and yeah. Now, and now, uh, of course, of course, now, 
ha after all this, Hajime wanted to learn more about what what the heck's going on and wanted to learn the truth about the about the whole incident. So he tried to enter into the into the uh, into the main department, and when he did, he was stopped by by a uh, pretty pretty reasonable security guard. And then the chief security guard came out, and well, screwed everything up for everyone because it was freaking Sakakura. Holy hell, Sakakura! Yeah, if you if anyone else needed any more reason to hate the asshole, he pretty much beat up beat up uh, Hajime, saying that yeah, you're not you're not good enough to enter this school. You're just a you're just a regular asshole. I'm just gonna keep beating you up because I'm an ultimate asshole. God, I oh Jesus. Ah, uh, say Sakakura, weren't you supposed to be like the ultimate boxer? Why are you not? I don't know. At least. At the very least, in the MMA or something, I don't know. Uh, the way you call it doping, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> okay, okay. Actually, Sakakura is there because he's undercover, help, helping out with Muna, helping out with some investigations with Munakata and uh, Chisa. But let's face it, would you, would any of you be surprised if Sakakura got kicked out of the a boxing, a boxing just because he's a bit of an ass? Just saying. Anyway, uh, so yeah, he beats him up, keeps on talking about how he's, how Hajime will amount to nothing, and of course, in order to amount to something and help everyone out, Hajime, the episode ends with Hajime going off to participate in the Izuru Kamakura project. So, thank you, Sakakura. Sa, sa, freaking asshole with a hard to pronounce name. You s screwed everyone over. Hope you're proud of yourself. So yeah, side despair episode. So yeah, this episode three of side despair of side of uh the Zetsubo hand. I guess I should say, really damn good, really really damn good. For those complained that those complained that uh, not enough plot was happening. There you go. This was a lot of plot, and they did really well. And you really got to see like uh, Hajime's eventual descent into becoming Ezra at this point, and now. Next week, we'll probably actually meet our good friend Izuru. It's gonna be awesome. I'll tell you that much. If Sakakura, ignoring the fact that Sakakura pretty much doomed the world, we at least get to see how awesome uh, Izuru's going to be. He's going to be. So yeah, thanks for that much, I guess. Ah uh, yeah. Uh, but that's why I think that's my general thoughts on on uh, The Zetsubo Hand. Really go check it out. Really damn good episode. Otherwise, yeah, uh, I'll be back next week with more of Mi Mi the Mirai Hand, that's where we get to see a lot more of Sakakura and his assholery. Yay. Until then, though, farewell for now, my friends.